Yo guys, I don't know what's going on, but Howie Roseman just keeps making moves, keeps making moves and just, he's howieing and howieing, okay? As we all say, this guy has just hasn't stopped this offseason. And when I looked at my phone today, I saw that Marcus Wheaton has signed a one-year deal with the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, Marcus Wheaton was an ascending player since 2013, but we all know that Marcus Wheaton had a drop-off year. So 2015, or I think it was last year when he was on the Bears, was his worst year. I think he only had three receptions. Four, I think four receptions for only 50-something yards. I mean, really a bad year. But the Bears were a really bad team. You know, Trubisky just you know got drafted. They had Tariq Cohen and they have Jordan Howard. And other than that, that was really it because their offensive, their offense, their their I don't know their uh, their weapons are not good on offense. Not like they are now. Um, it's a different story because I think after signing these guys, I don't know. I guess he didn't live up to the expectations of the Chicago Bears wanted him to be. But at the same time. I mean, one player can't do it all. You know what I mean? So, drafted in 2013, Marcus Wheaton was a player that I wanted on the Eagles. Um, that I, lo I actually liked coming out of the draft. And Marcus Wheaton had no room on the Steelers anymore. So, after, you know, Martavius Bryant got on the team, Juju Smith came on the team, there was no, there was really no room for Marcus Wheaton at all. In the last year of being on the Steelers, he literally had a strained shoulder, was out for mostly the whole year, and then the Steelers kicked him out. Pretty much cut him off the team. Then he got a two million, uh, two-year, twelve million dollar deal with the Chicago Bears, which I thought was a pretty good signing because I know they had Victor Cruz, but he didn't even make camp. Um, you know, I don't know who else was on the team wide receiver wise, but they signed a whole bunch of fucking nobody, no name free agents, washed up free agents last year. Um, and Marcus Wheaton just couldn't cut it. So I don't know if he got injured. I don't think he got injured. I thought I read, I don't think he got injured. I just don't think it was a productive year for that whole offense. And then, you know, Trubisky now has all the weapons. He's got the running backs, he's got the offensive line now. So there's a whole bunch of go things going on in Chicago right now. Good news for that. Now. Marcus Wheaton come to the Eagles. Now you have Alshon Jeffrey, Nelson Aguilar. Now you got Mike Wallace, Mac Collins, and now you got Marcus Wheaton. So now I honestly think that this team will keep at least two more wide receivers. Um, six or seven receivers on this roster, at least six. I think maybe just one more receiver will be on this roster this year. Now, who knows? Marcus Wheaton is a vet. He's only 27 years old. Maybe Marcus Wheaton just doesn't. I don't know. Maybe Marcus Wheaton is not going to make it. Maybe he won't make the team. Maybe he'll do play like shit. I don't know. But this is a big opportunity for Marcus Wheaton, especially we just became we're the defending Super Bowl champions, and this is his best. This is his best position right now. Right now, his best position. Now he's not going to go in there and start, but he is going to be in that spot to where hey, if someone needs a break, if someone needs to go out for a few plays, if someone needs to be out for a game. There you go. You put him. Now, 27 years old. I don't know what his shape is. I didn't really watch him too much last year, but by the how much receptions he had, some of it can blame on him. Some of it could be the blame of the whole offense, the offensive coordinator, and having a brand new quarterback out of the draft that didn't turn out like Mark Carson Wentz's first year. Because Carson Wentz wasn't like Carson Wentz's first year. Wasn't as I think Carson Wentz had a better rookie year than Mike, uh, Mitch Trubisky. But at the same time, Mitch Trubisky just got out of the draft. Still find his home, find his way, find his way to be set into that offense over in Chicago. But how much blame do I put this on Marcus Wheaton? Now, do I think Carson Wentz could make Wheaton look good? Probably. Now, I'm surprised we signed Marcus Wheaton because I thought we weren't going to sign any more receivers at all. And then... When Des Bryant got released, you know, I was hoping the fuck they didn't sign him. And then they say, oh, and it was a, there was a strict, it was a very fast no from the team. The team already talked to the media like that afternoon and said, nope, we're not signing Des Bryant. So I thought, hey, maybe they're not signing any wide receivers, but I was wrong. They just signed Marcus Wheaton to a one-year deal. Better on both parts. So there's no owed money, nothing. And Marcus Wheaton's coming fresh, clean, fresh in the books. And I don't know for how much it's worth. Probably not that expensive. A million, maybe. Um, I don't know. But Marcus Wheaton knows he has to prove himself. He's been an ascending player since 2013. 2015 was his only year. This past, I think it was 2016, he was the only year he didn't do, do much. 
I think that was it. 2015, 2016. See, I think. I think it was 16. I don't even remember. I think it was one year. I think it was 2016. Did not do anything, that, you know, with the four receptions, whatever. Because before that, he was, he had, like, he only had a, I think he only had a touchdown this past year, too. Because I know two years ago, he had about 740-something yards with a few touchdowns, five touchdowns. I mean, before that, from his rookie year on, his numbers, his yards kept going up. And then last year, it dropped. Now, and like I said, injury to the shoulder, got him off the Steelers, no room for him there, and then went to Chicago Bears on a two million, you know, a two-year, twelve million dollar deal. So, do I think this is a good spot for the Eagles to get a receiver? Do I think, do I think they should have drafted a receiver? Probably, but at the same time, you know, there's we're gonna have a shit ton of picks next year. We're probably gonna have eleven picks in this draft next year, which is gonna be fucking crazy. Probably more. Who knows? But for right now, you get a you get a vet, a, a savvy vet, a guy, a guy that can come in and, and work with this offense, and, and really, I can't wait to see what he has to say about this team, um, to see what it's all about. Now, I, I I didn't even know that Marcus Wheaton was cut from the Chicago Bears. Um, you know, the signing of Taylor Gabriel, the signing of um, from the Jaguars, uh, the the receiver from the Jaguars that broke his leg or tore his ACL last year, whatever. Um, so they signed some hefty receivers, um, you know what I mean, and, and getting some guys on the team. Taylor Gabriel, like I said, Taylor Gabriel. There's a whole bunch of receivers on that team now, and they're all set. They're stacked, that receiver on that team now. So Marcus Wheaton coming to the Eagles is a great thing. You know, makes him the, you know, the fifth receiver that I don't see why he can't make the team. I don't see why, but, I, you know, him, you know, he plays the way. He could play inside. He could play outside. He's got the speed to go downfield. He's go, He's always had that good eye uh, coordination for the ball. You know what I mean? He's always had that. So now I'm just trying to figure out how much is he going to produce on this team. We brought Torrey Smith in last year. We replaced him with Mike Wallace. Upgrade. I mean, there's so much that we've done to upgrade. We've upgraded the tight end position tremendously, okay? Richard Rodgers, now Dallas Goder. You know what I mean? There's a whole bunch going on, but I'm happy with what they did. I'm happy with what the Eagles did. This is a great signing. So, guys, got to – can't clap with both hands. I'm holding the phone. Got to clap for Howie for this. So that's what I got to say, guys. So what do you guys think? Tell me right now what you guys think about Marcus Wheaton being on the Philadelphia Eagles. That's all I'm asking, okay? So fly goes fly. Shake squad up. Go Howie. Peace.